This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express, so we're live on three. Thanks for choosing us on this Tuesday morning. Now, earlier we spoke about lice infestation. Oh, there's so much happening on the show today, but we want to answer your questions first. Justice from Fanabel Park is on the line. You're live on Express, so what's your question? You? Justice, can you hear me? You are yes. live. You can go for your question. Uh, I, I have dreadlocks. Okay. So uh, the problem is, how do I get lice? How do I know that I have lice in my dreadlocks? Mm -hmm. And how do I get rid of them? Because oh, okay. the whole house has dreadlocks. Okay, good question. Good Thank question. you so much, Justice. Hey, thanks for giving us a call. Thank so, you, Lana. Okay, there's a, there's a real problem. It is indeed. And the, the reason is quite simple. You can't get to get to the base of the hair follicles in dreadlocks. So it's very difficult to, to combat it. So you could try the shampoos first and see if that uh, will work completely. But in, often, in most cases, we end up having to remove the hair justice. I'm so sorry to say that. But often, if you have dreadlocks and, you, and it doesn't remove the, the lice completely and kill the eggs, you will need to actually, for better access of the, of the chemicals that we're using in the shampoo, you would need to shave the head. So short hair is easier to manage. It's much better. I mean, one of the things we discussed on the show earlier as well, and, and Dr. Green and I, we've been talking, I said to him, but how do you actually get it and why are little children or mm. even youngsters more susceptible to it? And he says, well, one of the, the biggest problems is, is because we share everything. You know, kids share a comb or even a scarf. <laughs> They're so giving. They give you everything. I know, they give you everything. <laughs> how else could we avoid it? Yes, I think teaching your, ch your children firstly about which utensils, which uh, cosmetic things should be shared, like a toothbrush, for example, like a comb and a brush. A lot of us as parents try to impart that to our, to our kids. And then obviously one of the big things that we miss is costume dress-up parties. We all hire costumes. Oof. You forget about them wigs that are infested with lice as well, and you put them on and you take them back. But you don't know where that's been, and you don't know if they're treating the products properly. Mm. If you just tune in, we're talking to Dr. Darren Green about lice infestation and uh, we've had some discussions. And thanks for your questions as they came through live on our Feel Good Breakfast show this morning as well. Little children, schools. I mean, now the kid has lice, they come into the house. I want to go back to the first question we had today, especially in the children's home where, you know, you have to break the cycle of the actual lice. Yes. Just take us through that. If it's in your home, what do you need to tackle and wash? I mean, do you need to send yes. all the kids out? Do the moms and dads have to be checked as well? Yes, definitely. All the family members would need to inspect each other, like, like apes and, and, and uh, Bobajana do. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is actually examine the scalps of all your children, mom and dad included, and then you'd have to look at the bedding, the bedrooms, etc. Special vacuuming techniques, uh, definitely the bedding, the pillows, even the pillowcases you can imagine need to be cleaned immaculately. Once that's done, you need to obviously repeat the cycle. And remember that we said a lice can live up to 32 days and it takes uh, the eggs about seven to eight days to hatch. So we need to keep checking for a period of at least two months to make sure you've eradicated the problem. And the more you obviously disinfect and clean and comb, obviously the chances become less and less and less. Oh, very informative. Thank you so much, Dr. Darren Green, joining us on our Feel Good Breakfast show this morning. Of course, we'll open the discussion on our Facebook page as well. Start liking the page, SABC3 Expresso Show. That's where you want to go if you want more information. Thank thanks you. for joining us this morning. Thank it's you. been really informative. Also, thanks for your questions this morning as they came through on our line. But uh, keep staying tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast show because there's a festival that we all need to attend. I want to be there, but first I need more information. Guys, what's happening?